Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Lindsay Albanese, and on today's How to Get Noticed video, I am going to give you tips on how to look elegant. No, this is not a video about wearing ball gowns and elbow gloves, even though it does look like I am wearing a ball gown. And I actually kind of am because this dress goes to the floor. But hey, I thought it was so fabulous. It was perfect to wear for this how to look elegant video. These are little tips and tricks I'm going to share with you that you can implement into your everyday wardrobe to feel a little bit more fence and elegant. Because after all, we're classy people, aren't we? And we might as well dress like it. So let's get classy. The first way to add a little bit of elegance to your outfit is to wear a faux fur stole. Now I know this may sound kind of weird. A stole is what they wore in like the 30s and 40s. And I actually have one that my grandmother passed down to me. But in the past two years, we've been seeing a lot of fur stoles in fashion. They just add big impact and look so fancy and luxurious. Many of you guys are like, how am I supposed to wear a stole? I know, it seems a little scary, but I'm telling you guys, it is so fashion forward. All you have to do is throw it over any of your coats. That is the easiest way to wear it. Or if you really wanna go for it, like major street style moment, then you can drape it over one of your shoulders. I know that is really like, hey, look at me, I'm fabulous. You can't touch this. Oh God, is that in camera? <laughs> Oh, that was terrible! That was not classy or elegant. <laughs> you guys see what I'm saying. For most of you, you will probably want to wear it around your neck over a coat, and that is the easiest way, but if you want to go for the more fabulous over the shoulder, I would go for that, because that's what I'm gonna wear. I promise you, if you wear this, you will stole the show. Yes, I punned that word. <laughs> Another easy way you can add elegance to your outfit is by incorporating structured bags or just buying structured bags. There's something about a really clean line structured bag that looks expensive. And you guys can buy these on the cheap too. A lot of affordable stores sell structured bags and that's the easiest way to make it look a bit more expensive. If you think about the iconic Birkin bag, that's such a simple bag. It's a simple square, minimalistic styling. It's just classic and eternal. That's an example, even though you're never gonna pay that, of how a simple, clean line structured bag is eternally stylish and elegant. This bag is actually mine, and although this one is a bit expensive, I've included some structured bags in the description below, so make sure you check out those links. I also think that adding a structured bag to an otherwise casual outfit really brings it up to the next level. Just makes you feel very Jackie-o. Another tip of mine is more of a beauty fashion combination. It's to wear high necklines paired with slick back hairstyles. There's just something about this that is really sleek and chic. To be honest, this is the type of outfit that's the perfect example that I would implement a slick back look. Many times when I need a little bit of a zhuzh, so to speak, but I don't wanna get dressed up, I'll just slick my hair back and wear a nice high neckline and I'll feel much more dressed up. I don't know what it is, it just exudes some classiness. Don't you guys agree? There's something just so refined and pulled together when you pair these two things together. And that's it for this week's How to Get Noticed video. I hope you like some of my elegant tips and I hope you will try them yourselves. Please make sure that you go follow me on Instagram at Lindsay Albanese for more outfit madness and a bunch of other random stuff. And please let me know your comments. If you try out any of these tips, I would also love for you to tag me on social media because I will make sure to comment and like your photo. I will make a promise on that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, do so, and I will see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone.